So if you couldn't tell, I have a lot going on. I'm teaching group fitness online. I have personal training clients. I have YouTube, I have Instagram. It's a lot to keep track of. So today I'm gonna show you the tools that I use to stay organized. Right now I'm really into digital tools. I know in the past that I've been really into bullet journaling. Just keep in mind that like, it's okay to change your methods over time. I definitely have, and that's what works best for me. So finding something that works for me in the moment and then letting it adapt to my ever-changing life. So let's jump on in. So there are two main tools that I use to keep myself organized. Number one is Asana. Number two is Google Calendar. So I'm actually gonna share my screen with you and show you exactly how I utilize these two things. We're on the floor now because it was more comfortable. Okay, so let's make sure. Great. All right, so I'm in Asana. So you're gonna see that I have four different projects that I use. So I have Instagram, social media in general, YouTube content, and then group fitness classes. So let's actually start with this one because it is the simplest out of the four. So clicking on this, bringing the weekends on. So this is essentially just where I'm like mapping out all of my upcoming classes. So you can see I have the different type of class, um, what the focus is gonna be in the class or what the theme, like the song or the whatever. And I have that program just for the month ahead. If there's something that a lot of people request, or let's say like someone drops a new song or a new album, then I'll probably switch things around a little bit, but I just like to have a basic map out for the whole month. And I like being able to see it all in front of me and scrolling through past months, just so I can see what I've done recently. Cause sometimes I might be like, I haven't done a Disney class in two months. And I'll look back and I'll be like, that was two weeks ago because in quarantine, everything melts together. So that's fairly simple. And then I just check it off when it's done and that's it. So then if we come down here, um, so let's actually head into YouTube content next. So I actually made this one as a board rather than a calendar. So you can have a calendar view or you can do a board view. And when you sell, uh, I'm not gonna show you like how to use Asana in depth. There's so many more people who can do that better than me. But when you're creating a new board, you get to decide or creating a new project. So with this, I have a, this is set up a little bit differently than just the calendar. So I have four different like tabs or boards, I guess they're called. Uh, starting on the left, this is just all of the ideas that I've ever had ever, ever, ever. There's so many, a lot of them are really bad. Like it's, it goes a long time down. So this is, if I have a good idea, I'll just throw it in here. And then I do usually like to have two months at a time. A lot of times these will switch as again, something that's very popular pops up or I have a new idea that I like better. I wanna make sure that I have a good outline, a good plan, but I also wanna make sure that I'm still really like excited about the content that I'm creating. And then over here is everything that I've completed. So I can just, again, see like, oh, I haven't done something talking about hit in a really long time. And then I can scroll down. I can be like, oh, that was actually just like three weeks ago. So that's my YouTube board. And and then we'll go to Instagram next, maybe. There she is. Okay, so same thing, Instagram, I made a board view and working left to right. These are the different ways that I post on Instagram. So we have IGTV, we have feed, um, and then we have reels. And then over here is completed. So again, it's just kind of putting things in here. I don't, because I post so much more on Instagram than YouTube. On YouTube, I aim for twice a week. On Instagram, I aim for like five a week. Goddamn algorithm. So then the final board, which is my favorite because I get to see everything on a calendar is this social media board. So this is really cool. I will show you like one little trick on here. So this is all of the Instagram and YouTube content. So I took these two projects, which were in board form, and essentially, so let's go back to a YouTube thing. So essentially I can add it to two projects. You can add it to another project on here. And if it has a due date, it's gonna pop up on here. And then the purple is YouTube, the yellow orange color is Instagram. And it's nice because you can just kind of like drag and drop things and it'll um, rearrange on your other board as well. So like if I don't get, I still have to film this today. If I don't get to filming this today, I can literally just like drag and drop it over to Saturday if I want. So, and then if we're diving into Google Calendar, so we're just gonna pop on over here. Look at that, I'm like two minutes, four minutes ahead of schedule. 
The number one thing that you're gonna notice is that everything's color coded. So for my color coding, this is like my default and this is just like for my business. Um, the blue is my YouTube stuff or any filming kind of stuff. This actually should be in my color, but this is like green is like just personal like life. Um, this light green is workout schedule and this is the children's theater. This one is um, strong teams or team building. I do like some corporate events with them. Um, I just changed this one to Instagram so I know that it's different from YouTube. And that's pretty much it. So that's the main thing. I just really enjoy having like color coding for all of my different jobs or tasks simply because when I look at my day, I can automatically see, okay, I see some blue. So I know I'm probably gonna have to like look like a human today. I see a lot of that reddish color. I know that I have a lot of clients today or I'm gonna be teaching today. Uh, I see the light green. I'm gonna have to work out today. So just being able to look at something right off the bat and it's gonna influence like your emotions about the day or how you feel like you're gonna approach the day. At least for me, that really, really helps. So what we're actually gonna do, because this week is completely, you can see it's all plotted out. I'm actually gonna go to next week and I'm gonna show you how I start to plan out my week. I hope this isn't super boring. So the first thing I would do is put in all of my mandatory work and that's actually already in here. So these are all the classes I'm teaching for the week. I have like a little spot for a client that I usually work with on Wednesdays. All of that mandatory stuff is in there. I've already mapped out my workout schedule. I'm doing like an abs challenge you'll see in December. And I already have a little bit of like when I'm uploading and when I'm filming. We're gonna go in, we're gonna go back to Asana and we're literally just gonna cross-reference all this. So I'm gonna stay on the uh, social media calendar. And so let's see what I've already filmed through. So I'm gonna have filmed through the deadlift day. So that's Tuesday. Okay, oh, that's great. I don't have much to film this week. Oh, first of all, I'm missing this video. So I'm gonna put this video in as an upload. I just like to see it on the calendar. We're gonna change it to the YouTube calendar. It's uploaded, great. So I'm gonna take these Instagrams. So I need to film three things. I do like to split these up on different days because that is a lot more achievable for me than changing my outfit three times in a day. I would rather just film more. So this is what I like to see. I'm gonna be fairly sweaty after this class, but this one I'm actually gonna be pretty um, decent after. So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna film. The upper body want us to go live that day. Let's do crunches and glutes function. I can do two on that day. So I'm actually gonna film this one film, yeah. on Monday and just have that ready to go. So glutes function, great. So that's all done, that looks great. So I also need to make sure that this lower body workout, yep, that is scheduled. Let's also schedule, is that already scheduled? No, ooh, okay. We're actually gonna film that on this day simply because I know that it's not gonna need a lot of turnaround time. Okay, I changed my mind. I'm actually gonna plan to film it on Tuesday even though my hair is gonna be a little sweaty from that class in the morning, but I'm worried about that turnaround just taking one day. I forgot that I'm changing to Friday, so. Functional, Friday, glutes. Okay, perfect, that's the YouTube one. So you'll see what I'm doing. I'm actually only putting them up as all day events to start. This is really nice for me because I just get to see everything that I have to do and then I will drag it down as things get scheduled because right now I'm still waiting on um, one, two, th three different clients, four different clients that I'm gonna have to meet with this week. So I don't wanna start plotting everything out probably until Sunday is when I'm gonna do that. So I just like to put everything up at the top. Two other tools that I wanna show you are actually on the side here. I just started using these. I, I don't know why I've always been such like a pen and paper person, but right now I'm feeling like very digital. So I really like the tasks over here. So this will just be like my daily to-do list. So then this is like the little notes or this like keep thing. And I really like this. So it's just skipping down to this Insta idea. 
This is, okay, so if you follow me on Instagram, you know that I've been really into like these questions of the day recently. And a lot of times I just like to answer them right away in the stories. Or if it's like a great thing that I wanna make sure people have access to, I will then put it in here. I don't know why, I just like it over here better. Where did it go? I like it over here better. I don't know, that's just me. But if you wanted to create like a content ideas in your Instagram board, that would be super smart. I don't know why I like it over here. Okay, so that's like, that's it. I hope that wasn't boring. That was a lot of sitting down and looking at my computer. But this is actually a big question that I get a lot of the time is just how you stay organized and how you like wrap your brain around everything and come up with content and plan content. So yeah, this is the method that I use. Try it out. If there are any other tools that you really like or any other methods that you really like, let me know in the comments below and I'll see you in the next one.